Oh, the moon was kind enough to bring me on earlier on. I think it's about time that we had a little word from the moon. Oh, oh, oh what's happening? Oh. Ah, oh, what's this shit in here? What are you looking at, you dickhead? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm the dark side of the moon. Who? You heard. I'm the dark side of the moon. I didn't know the moon had a dark side. Oh, everyone got the dark side, and I'm the moon's dark side. Right, so what sort of dark stuff do you get up to then? Oh, well, like, for example, last night I went into your mum's house and I trod mud all into a new cream carpet. Yes, the new one she just got from Solomon's. Well, that doesn't even sound that dark to me. Oh, did I say mud? Yeah. I meant dog shit from the poodles that your dad's been licking at. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Why, you, that's disgusting! We've got youngins in yes, here! Yes, it is disgusting. It's dark and it's delicious. I'm the dark side of the moon. Sorry about that. See you later, moron. Yeah, not if we see you first, mate. That was disgusting. Who is that idiot? He was horrible. What do you mean, who is that idiot? That was your dark side. What? That was your dark alter ego. Oh. No! It's like that scene in Star Wars where Luke Skywalker realises that Darth Vader's his dad. No! It's a bit like that, yeah. Oh, that's a nightmare. A lot of people like Star Wars because it's set in space, but for me it's like EastEnders. Anyway, I've got to go, because uh, Saturn's coming around for dinner. We're going to have a light pasta, then we're going to measure ourselves. Idiot. So, um... <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if anything happens to me in the show, if I get knocked down by a tram, or if I fall into a funnel web nest, whatever, <laughs> one of your millipedes gets me, yeah, I've heard they're bad. Um, don't worry, because I've got an understudy, yeah? Uh, someone who can take over. Yeah? I usually get this in plays, and uh, not, not for comedy shows, but uh, I met this guy at a salsa lesson, and we just clicked, yeah? He's a great guy. And uh, he's quite a big Hollywood star, yeah? So it's weird that he would want to be my understudy. But uh, he said he was in between jobs, yeah? So uh, he agreed to do it. And um, I'm going to bring him out now, so you can just sort of get a glimpse of him, because I think you'll get a real kick out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome onto the stage, my understudy, Antonio Banderas! <laughs> Hola, hola Melbourne. It's me, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> In between jobs, yes. <laughs> In between jobs. In between jobs, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way he says it. Yes. I think you're missing the button. No, no, it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> Sexy. Hey, Antonio, thanks for doing this. It's an absolute pleasure, Noel. Um, I happen to be here in Australia anyway, filming Expendables 27. <laughs> yes. Anyway, how's it going, the show? Is, is, do you want me to take over yet? Is your understudy? How's it going? Yes. Um, no, no, no. It's going all right, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. What's that supposed to mean? Well, no, I'm sure he's going well over here in Melbourne. He's having a good time, but uh, I wasn't... In where? Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne, 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 Melbourne. You've been spending a lot more time in France recently. <laughs> uh, I, I'm an international man, <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> yes, I like your stuff. I like I like your work you do. I mean, we all enjoyed the tea bagging material you did. It's great. It's very funny. Very funny. Good for the kids. But uh, I wasn't so sure about the uh, chicken man stuff. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> What's he like? Yes. Uh, yeah, such a joker. Yes, yeah, but for me, for me, it wasn't necessarily a joke. It was probably more of a concept. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> don't show off in front of Antonio. It's Antonio Banderas. They do. They do. In between jobs. In between jobs. <laughs> Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> 
Listen, Antonio, I know you know your craft as an actor. Well, yeah? I'm I respect you. Yes. I respect you big time for yes. that. Yes. But um, I've been doing stand-up quite a long time, yeah? Mm. And um, <laughs> it was definitely a little bit avant-garde, but it was definitely a joke. Yes, look, uh, listen, Noli, he's, he's fine if he was a concept, absolutely fine. But for me, I'm definitely saying it was mm, concept. It was a joke, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it was a concept. It was a joke, mate. But I think it was a concept. It was a joke, mate. It was a concept. It was a joke, mate. It was a concept. It was a joke, mate. It was a concept. It was a joke, mate. It was a concept. It was a joke, mate. 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 It was a all right, why don't we consult Hawkeye? Yes! Who? Hawkeye makes all the decisions in the sport, yeah? I know him, I've got his number, I'll give him a shout. Okay, you'll, go, you, you'll find out. I'll tell you what, uh, if he decides it's a concept, I get to take over the show. Fun times, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right, but if he decides that that was a joke, yes. yeah, I get to keep doing the show and you lose a week's tapas money. <laughs> It's fine, I don't really like tapas anyway, it's a cliche, isn't it? I prefer uh, Hungry Jacks. Yes. <laughs> it's burger. Um, num, 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 burger. Um, num, num, burger. Um, num, 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 fat man. Is that the new advert for Hungry Jacks? <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give him a call. Just call him up, call him up. Hawkeye, oh, Hawkeye, oh, are you there a second? I need you to make an important decision. I think this is him. I think this is him. Hawkeye, thanks for... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd finished. Um, Hawkeye... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming, Hawkeye. I said thanks for coming. <laughs> Me and my understudy, Antonio Banderas, having a little bit of a dispute, yeah? I did a bit of stand-up. It was a little bit risky, a little bit avant-garde, yeah? But it was definitely a joke, yeah? <laughs> he thought it was a concept. Yes, uh, hello, Mr. Hogai. Uh, Antonio Banderas in between jobs. Uh, so um, this has got a little bit out of hammer, and uh, it's just a little thing that I said that I thought it was a concept, and uh, it's just it's a joke, a concept, concept, a joke, joke. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was a concept. Yeah, it was a joke, mate. Uh, no, but I thought it was a concept. It was a, a joke, mate. But I it's, it's a, a concept, joke, mate. But it's a concept, though. You do know that in English, your name's Tony Flags, don't you? <laughs> Not quite as sexy, is it, that? It's fine, actually. It's my catchphrase. Hoist the flag! <laughs> anyway, Ronnie Wood, <laughs> it was a concept. <laughs> Ronnie Wood. <laughs> yes, Ronnie Wood, goblin face. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't care. I'm happy with that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's a joke, man. It's a what are you to Zorro for? It's that still was, current. That was ages it's ago. It's current. Really? Yes, what, I've got you... no other clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, a concept. It's a joke. Concept. It's a joke. Concept. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! Yes! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Well, fuck you, Fielding. Fuck you, Eagle Boy. And fuck all your little followers. Forgot your sword, mate. Good, yes, I know. I'm Antonio Banderas, Zorro. Ha! Hmm. It's too fucking lame, eh? Made me look like a right wanker! <laughs> <laughs>